What's up guys, AC Car Shark back again. I'm here with um, a pick I guess a recent pickups video. Um, I have a lot to get to, so I'm gonna get like right into it. Um, I have some Goodwill pickups. I was just got back from New Jersey and got some Goodwill pickups. Um, I picked up a CD off of Amazon, which uh, has some sort of reference to YouTube. Um, I got an eBay pickup as well as a Club Nintendo pickup. So um, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'll hit up the um, the Goodwill. Goodwill actually wasn't that great. I mean, I did pick up some stuff, but um, usually the one in New Jersey always has like this huge bin of games, and there's like nothing there. But I did end up picking up three games and a uh, accessory. Uh, the first game I picked up was for the Sega Genesis, and that's FIFA International Soccer. It was marked 2.99, and it was 50% off, so I got it for a dollar fifty. And it comes complete with the box and instructions. So a complete copy of FIFA Soccer. I remember loving the soccer games back in the Genesis. Um, I remember loving those games. So that should be a lot of fun to play once once I can actually play it. Uh, second game I picked up was for the N64. Um, it was $1.99. Again, half off, so I got it for a dollar. And that is NASCAR 99. NASCAR 99 for a dollar. I figured it's a game I don't have for the 64. I need to build that collection up. So there you go. Uh, for three bucks, I found this just sitting on a random shelf, actually, which is weird. Um, but I found the uh, Rumble Pack for the N64, and um, I had one of these back in the day, but uh, I don't know where it went. So I, for three dollars, I figured I'd pick one up. I never really used the Rumble Pack too often, but I figured it's just a part of the system I, I didn't have at this point. So I, I figured I'd pick it up for three bucks. And then the last game I picked up, um, I already have. A copy of this and it is complete as well as this this is complete as well as the one I already have um, so this one will be up for trade absolutely will be up for trade so if you want it, it's first come first serve first one is to send me a uh, an offer for it it's yours um, but I got it for three dollars and that is for the Genesis NBA Jam really really strange is that I just if you remember I just found this at the Goodwill out here in Pennsylvania and I go to the Goodwill in Jersey, and they have a complete copy there, too. It's just like, that's so weird to find two complete copies in two different states, two different Goodwill stores. But this one definitely will be up for trade. So first person to send me an offer for it, it will be yours. So NBA Jam, complete instructions and, and, and disc, or not disc, instructions and cartridge in, in the box. Box is in great shape, still has the, the little tab there. So uh, like I said, first one to shoot me a, a PM, it's yours. Uh, next, next thing I picked up, that was the Goodwill. Uh, next thing I picked up off of Amazon was a CD, a music CD. It's a band called The Progress. I don't know if you can really even see that, but there you go. The Progress. Uh, the album is called Merit, M-E-R-I-T, Merit. Um, the reason I'm showing you this is, if you remember, for those of you who have watched Pixel Sandwich's channel from back in the day, his intro song, everyone always went nuts over it. Who is that? What band is that? It's a local band from New Jersey. And um, they actually aren't aren't together anymore. I'm trying to see where the town is here. Cherry, Cherry Hill, New Jersey. It's a local band. Um, and Pixel Sandwich's theme song is actually on this album. The one that he used for his intro for his videos. So um, he, he was telling me how I would love the entire album. So I was like, you know what? I went on Amazon. I found it for a penny. I kid you not. One cent. Uh, shipping was like two ninety nine or something like that, or three dollars. So I got it for like three dollars and a penny, but um, absolutely awesome. I'm gonna bust this out tonight and listen to it. Uh, he said I would love the album. So if you guys are fans of Pixel Sandwich's old school uh, intro song, uh, it's track number one. It's called Nightlife Tor Tornado Alley, and again, that's a band called The Progress. If you want, if you want to get this album, Amazon. It's, it's a penny. There's a couple more on there for like twenty and thirty cents. So it's like you can't beat it. Um, Next thing I got was a Club Nintendo. I'm just trying to see how much time I have. All right, cool. Club Nintendo. Um, you guys know all about Club Nintendo and how you get the coins for registering your games and you can tra uh, trade your coins in for, for items, for cool stuff for your game rooms and stuff. So I did, and um, this got delivered to my mom's house, which is, how, which is why I'm just getting it. And what I did was I traded in my coins to get some posters for my game room once I moved. So, first poster, it's kind of hard to show you, but it's uh, it's like the cast of all the Super Mario games, and on the bottom it says Super Mario, and I believe, does it have the Club Nintendo? No, it doesn't have the Club Nintendo. So that was the, that was the first poster. It came with three different posters for, for one, one trade-in. Um, the next one is just plain old Mario 
just just a red poster. I'm not sure. I'm not gonna be framing all three of these. And eventually, if I don't use them, eventually, I'll, maybe I'll trade them with you guys if you, if you want them. Uh, this one is the one I got it for. This one will be framed in my apartment, no, without a doubt. And um, it's really, really cool. It says Mario's history. And if you can see it, it has him starting with the 8-bit Mario and going all the way through the years, all the way up to Mario Galaxy, uh, I'm sorry, not Mario Galaxy, uh, Super, the new Super Mario Brothers Wii, which was in 2009. So it has the history of Mario all the way across it on an old school 8-bit board. That one's being framed, put in my game room. Uh, the other two, I'm not sure if I'm going to use or not. So honestly, um, again, if you want to trade for them, I may, I may part with them. I'm not sure. Uh, I just don't see myself hanging that much Mario up in my in my game room. So, and then the, I think the final thing, yeah, the final thing, uh, was an eBay purchase, and it came in this box here, which I've already taken the item out. But I think it's really hilarious because the 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 seller of the item actually had like a good sense of humor. Uh, I'm going to show you. I open up the box, and the flap comes up, right? And this is this is what I I'm gonna see if I can do it. This is what I saw. So the seller again, if you if you know what that reference is, you know what I'm about to show you. But the seller actually had like a really cool sense of humor about it. Um, guys, if you know and you've been watching my channel, I've been looking for one of these for a long, long time, and I actually had won one off of eBay, paid the money, and the guy never sent it to me, so I had to get a refund and like file a complaint against the seller. But I finally got one. I got it for a damn good price. That is Nintendo Power Glove, guys. One of the worst peripherals ever put out by Nintendo, but I had to have one for my game room. Uh, it, it's so retro and so NES, and you know me and how nuts I am about the NES system. So um, just like uh, Lucas from The Wizard, I can you know I can wear it and, and tell it and just say how bad it is. But um, yeah, the Power Glove, I've been looking for one of these for a long time, and it didn't come with any sensors or anything, which, you know, kept the price down on eBay, which was awesome, because I'm not looking to play with it. I, I don't care. I want to put this next to my Rob the Robot on a shelf in a game room. It's really just the nostalgia and the uh, and just having part of, of the Nintendo, you know, it's part of a Nintendo collection. And I had to have one of these. As a retro gamer, I had to have one of these. Um, I got it for 20 bucks off of eBay. They, they, a lot of these sell for like 100 or more. I got real lucky. Um, no one really bid against me too much. I mean, I had one guy, but it wasn't too bad. And, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm really stoked to have this thing. So eventually uh, I may, I may put this thing on and, and wear, you know, in a video sometime or something. But um, I just think it's an awesome, awesome piece of memorabilia for a game room and, and for a, a Nintendo collector, an original NES collector like I am. Um, I just think it's really, really awesome. So j just to have my hands on one of these, it's in really, really good shape. There's like, there's no tears in the in the fabric, which a lot of times it would tear because people start, you know, shoving their hand in there. But the fabric is in one piece. No, no signs of wear and tear. No tearing in the fabric. Uh, control pad is really, really clean. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the whole the whole glove itself is pretty clean. So I call that a really good eBay pickup. And uh, that was the uh, that's the pretty epic pickup for for you know for the last week or so. Um, so that's about it, guys. That's that's what I picked up recently. I think uh, I did some some good pickups. I also downloaded some games off the PSP Go. Um, I got Midway Arcade Treasures. Um, oh man, I, I downloaded like four games. Uh, Kenko Bancho, guys. If you, if you have a PSP Go or a PSP, Kenko Bancho is an amazing beat 'em up brawler. If you guys are into beat 'em ups, great game. I absolutely recommend it. It just came down to twenty bucks in the uh, in the marketplace, or the, the the PSN. So if you guys love beat 'em ups, that's a great game to pick up. Um, I picked up Pac Man CE for my PSP Go because you know me with my Pac Man and. Uh, Mega Man 2, Japanese version. It's actually Rock Band 2, technically. But um, Mega Man 2, it was like $4.99. So those are the four games I picked up on the PSP. I may do some some uh, reviews on those games. But uh, that's about it. Um, I'm going to be shooting a video right after this. It's going to be an epic, epic package from another YouTuber. Um, so stay tuned for that, guys. I'm going to record that right now and then maybe post it a day or so after I post this one. So keep keep tuned for that. Awesome guy. Um, was really awesome. Sent me some good stuff. And uh, I definitely am going to have to get him back um, for, the, for the stuff he sent me. So, But that's going to do it for my recent pickups, guys. So until next time, AC Car Shark. Take care.